Can you tell me why you are bent on giving another man your time instead of me? What other man are you talking about, babe? We're talking about your father. Look, your father needs care. I feel like he's missing his wife. Caretaker, who told you my father needs care? Or better still, who told you my father has not been getting care? <sighs> babe, who has been taking care of him? You? My love, you know you're too busy for your father. I mean, you go out in the morning and you come back late at night. You don't even have a sign. You know what? It's obvious you're desperate to become my father's second wife. Excuse you? You heard me. Enjoy. But you know what? This relationship needs a break. What stupid break are you talking about, huh? You should be grateful that I spend literally all my time taking care of your father. Have you not seen how happy he is these days? That is the problem. You focus too much on my father instead of me. Yes, I'm jealous here. Every now and then it's all about my father, my father, my father. Yes, I can see your mind is made on getting married to my father. No problem. When your wedding card is out, invite me, I will gladly come. Nonsense. What? What stupid wedding are you talking about? Richard, come back. We're not done talking. Richard! There are memories that are so deep inside my heart that I can never, ever delete. Gina, Gina. <laughs> Dad! That's an amazing show. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, you cracked me up so hard. You're so funny, I swear. Take, okay. <laughs> That's so amazing. You too, Dad. Okay, so have some bites. Mm. <laughs> so you were so strong when you were younger, mm. huh? <laughs> Come say that again. Okay, take That's another really one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that you're so funny. <laughs> okay. Like we were giving back to on Sunday. Of course, I was giving back to on a Sunday. Okay, this one, this one. <laughs> um, take this. <laughs> I'm right back, Dad. Babe? Hey. Babe. Babe. What is it? My love. I'm sorry I didn't notice you coming in. Why would you notice me? When you were busy playing love with my father. Huh? Love? That wasn't love. What was that? Babe, come on. I was just feeding him food and we're making jokes, that's all. Is he handicapped? Excuse you? Is there anything wrong with my father's hand? Why are you feeding him? Answer me. Why are you playing love with my father? I don't understand. So what are you insinuating? That I'm having an affair with your father? Yes. Which is not far from the truth. Ah, uh, Richard, stop. It's obvious you had the bad dialogue. I won't let you transfer aggression to me. What's that? Richard, so you disrespect me now, huh? Okay. What is it? 
Дина! 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 Richard, I want you to look into this proposal and sign them for dispatch. Richard! <coughs> Sorry, I wasn't listening. Maybe you were thinking about your next realization spot with your fiance. Far from that, Tony. Really? So what could it be? I don't even know how to say this. My father is sleeping with my wife-to-be. What? Richard, what is the meaning of that? You heard me loud and clear. I caught them playing love. They were so into each other that they did not even notice my presence. This is so ridiculous. But Gina, I know, will never do such a thing. Tony, are you calling me a liar? But it just too hard to believe. No, tell me, whose father will be sleeping with his son's fiance? Well, my father is that father that is sleeping with his son's wife to be. Um, Richard, please, lower your voice. This is an office. People are outside. This thing is not meant to be heard by another ear. You know what? Relax. We'll sit over it after work. But for now, look at this proposal. Sign it for this match. I'll see you in the evening. Position. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Yes, how are you? I'm very well. You? Fine. Why did you leave the other way you did the other day? Dad, it's not important. It's in the past now. Mm, my son upset you? Come on, Dad. I'm over it. We're good, I promise. We're cool. Have you been? Good? Well, I'm fine. Just a little pain at the back. Mm, maybe I need some uh, massage. Oh. 
you do need my touch then. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where do you want the massage done? Oh, my room, of course. Okay, cool. Right away. <laughs> um, we will slowly. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Your father needs care. I feel like he's missing his wife. Caretaker, who told you my father needs care? Or better still, who told you my father has not been getting care? <sighs> Babe, who has been taking care of him? You? My love, you know you're too busy for your father. I mean, you go out in the morning and you come back late at night. You don't even have a sign. You know what? It's obvious you're desperate to become my father's second wife. Excuse you? You heard me. Enjoy. But you know what? This relationship needs a break. What stupid break are you talking about, huh? You should be grateful that I spend literally all my time taking care of your father. Have you not seen how happy he is these days? That is the problem. You focus too much on my father instead of me. Yes, I'm jealous here. Every now and then, it's all about my father, my father, my father. Yes, I can see your mind is made on getting married to my father. No problem. When your wedding card is out, invite me, I will gladly come. Nonsense. What, what stupid wedding are you talking about? Richard, come back. We're not done talking. Richard! There are memories that are so deep inside my heart that I can never ever delete. I can never believe that you'll leave me again. It is driving me so crazy. It is making me so crazy. In came I, in came I, in came I, you promised me our love will be forever. Oh, be more. You promised me it is you and I forever. In came I'll be more. In came You promised me our love will be forever. Oh, be more. You promised me. Tony, I have heard it up to my neck. Their love play has metamorphosed into something else. I bumped into my wife to be massaging my father. How do you mean? You think I'm joking? Um, I bumped into Gina massaging my father, like massaging my father. Um, I think you need to call Gina and talk to her to know what her problem is. I have tried talking to Gina several times, but she has nothing meaningful to say. Uh, maybe she's not getting the attention she needs from you. Excuse me. And um, she has to switch to the next available man. Excuse me. I didn't say anything. Tony, leave my office. Richard, stop. I am not Gina. Why are you transferring aggression on me? I am not Gina. I need to be left alone. Leave my office. Richard. I said I am not Gina. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm my office. Sort your problem with Gina. You can lie to me, but don't you look into my eyes and say that you don't love again. There are memories that are so Richard, we need to talk. I am your father. I wouldn't do anything to hurt you, my son. Please. Richard. Richard. Richard.
Father, no, no, no. Don't even tell me that. No. I am sick and tired of you in this house. What have I done to deserve this? I labored day and night to provide all your needs. And all you could do is to stab me in the back. Richard, you need to calm down and listen to me, your father. There is absolutely nothing to listen to. Yes, my life is already in shambles. As if that wasn't enough, all you could do to add salt to the injury was to take away my wife to be. Who does that? Richard, I won't watch you insult me. Spare me that bullshit, father. You insulted me first. Who does that? I care for you, I provide for you, you are under my roof, and all you could do as my father is to take away my wife to be, my fiancée. Ever since the demise of your mother. I don't wife. care. I don't care, father. Because you don't consider how I feel each time I see you and my wife to be in a romantic position. I told you I needed a break. So what are you doing here? Before they come to fight, leave my house. One, two, three. Pregnant. You are what? No. Why no? It's no longer a secret that you have been sleeping with my wife to be. Richard. Don't Richard me. We must conduct a test on you immediately to ascertain whether the baby you are carrying belongs to me or my father. I don't understand. You heard me loud and clear. Totally understand how you feel. But don't allow what he thinks put you through emotional trauma. What really matters here is that you're being kind to his father. Even his late mom would be happy with you. She broke up with me. He called off our six years of relationship. What? <laughs> this is too much for you. How could he do such a thing? Which man wouldn't be happy seeing his fiance bond with his father? Oh. What does he want? Listen, girl. You have to put yourself together. I will talk to him, okay?
her undying love for humanity reminds me of your late mother. So homely, full of humor and respect. Unfortunately, nature took her away from me. After giving back to you, I went through hell, if I must tell you, raising you up on a wheelchair. I've always wished that you get a wife that will take care of this family. Seeing my condition. I was uh, trying to make tea for myself. It fell down and broke. You should have called Richard to help you out. He said he was running late for work. I decided to make it for myself. I'm so sorry. I'll clean it up. Thank you very much, my daughter. You're welcome, sir. Your face looks familiar. Yes, sir. I'm Gina's friend. 
Ah. Yes, sir. So how is Gina? She's fine. Please tell her that whatever my son said to her, she shouldn't take it to heart, okay? Okay, sir. I will relate your message to her. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Why don't you just agree with the DNA test to prove your innocence? Prove what innocence? Wait, who? Are you by any way thinking Richard's father is responsible for my pregnancy? Come on, sweetheart. Why should I think of such? If that is the only way you can restore your six years of relationship with Richard, then... Then what, girl? If I accept to do a DNA test, it's like I'm affirming that I'm having an affair with Richard's father. And I will not do it. I won't. Honestly, I really do not know what to say anymore. It's better you don't say anything. Oh, girl. Do you... Do you think Richard is seeing another one? Who takes the script? Whoever made this food must be a very good cook. in? Obviously he's not. He's not back from work and who are you? Hmm. I should be asking you. Who are you? Really? 
Well, my name is Fiona, and I'm Richard's girlfriend. Excuse me, say what? You heard me. You must be the newly employed maid that is to take care of his crippled father. So I would suggest you go in and change into your maid dress so you can start work immediately. And his crippled father is in his room. So run along now. Why are you standing there and staring at me like a moron? Run along! What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. Give me some sugar. <gasps> Excuse us, okay? Really? Baby, when did we start keeping secrets? It's not a secret, it's just a conversation, trust me. A harmless one. So what do you want? Why are you here? <clears throat> so it's because of her, right? What's wrong with you? You can't come into my house and question how I live my life. Oh my God, Richard. Why are you doing all this? Why do you derive joy in making me feel bad? Huh? Richard, we're family. This is our sixth year in a relationship, not six months. So why do you want to destroy everything that we share? Why? The reason is simple. If you are 100% sure that this pregnancy is mine, why then are you refusing a DNA test? Because I do not need a DNA test when I clearly know who the father of my child is. You're the father, obviously. Until you are ready for a DNA test. 
Use the door when you're done. Richard! Richard, I'm not done talking! Richard! I've been looking up to the sky, praying for rain. Oh, let it rain, wash away this pain. To cry again, I'm praying for the rain. Richard, so you asked me to leave because of that thing? What am I exactly to do, Richard? A side chick. Come on, how can you sound like this? You are not my side chick. All right, I asked you to excuse her so that you won't sit back and listen to the nonsense she has to say. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Hundred. Richard. So you don't trust me anymore, eh? So it has gotten Don't to the point where, where, where I'm talking now. Good <laughs> way. You're asking me, Richard. You can. Richard, be sure you're not, you're not trying to deceive me. I'm not. Stop. 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 <laughs> oh, no, I forgot. <laughs> Gina, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Oh. Abortion pills? Give it to me. Gina, what is wrong with you? Why do you want to kill an innocent child? got me pregnant doesn't want my baby. <laughs> I feel so depressed being accused of having an affair I know nothing about. I'm tired. I'm tired. God. Gina. <sighs> Gina, this is not enough reason for you to kill an innocent child. This is what makes you a woman. This is your face will open and listen, you're keeping this pregnancy. I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm so sad. I can't take this. I can't stand rejection. I can't. It's okay. I feel so alone. I feel so alone. Go ahead, I'm listening. I don't know if you know this, but Richard and I, we've been together for six years. We've been through thick and thin together. We're supposed to get married soon. Look, I want to plead with you to please put yourself in my shoes. Just say it like you're trying to ruin your fellow woman's home. Please. Oh, so pathetic. 
Is this why you stopped me? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Hmm? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Having an affair with your supposed fiancé's father. Do you know what you are? You're simply a whore. So I would advise you go lick your wound. Rubbish. Fiona, are you going out? Sorry? Was that question for me? I thought I saw you cooking in the kitchen a couple of minutes ago. You didn't dish my food. <laughs> Hi, as what? As your maid or your wife? Hmm? You think I'm that jobless, shameless girl, Gina, you're having an affair with? Better watch it. No, no, no. You should watch it. You old man should watch it. You're such a shameless man. A father who goes after his son's fiancé is a disgrace to fatherhood. I don't blame you. I blame that dirty, stinking girl who opened her legs for you. And if you're hungry, get yourself a maid, or better still, call her to cook for you. I'm out. <laughs> So you mean Gina actually refused going for a DNA test? <laughs> that now proves that she is truly having a secret affair with your father. She keeps shedding crocodile tears just to feel decent. That girl is evil. Yeah, of course. Come to think of it. Which normal girl will refuse going for a DNA test just to prove her innocence? But when I told you that my father was having an affair with my wife to be, you never believed me. Now I'm beginning to see the picture clearly. Gina, 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 uh, Gina betrayed me. Why my father? What do women want? Hi, baby. Hey, what's up, darling? Oh, how are you? Mm. Yeah. I'm Richard. I'll be in my office. That's fine. Baby, you never told me you were coming. <laughs> well, I thought you'd be famished, so I brought you lunch. Wow. Well, might as well. So you cooked? Baby, baby, KC for you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome, baby. Let me quickly get something, I'll be right back. Oh, darling. Enjoy your food again. <laughs> I will. Richard, uh -huh. you never told me you already had a replacement before calling to food, did you know? Uh -huh. It's called planning in economics. Mm. The aroma coming out from this food shows that this girl must be a wonderful cook. Mm. Uh, that's 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 
What's that? Why not test it and treat it for yourself? Is it that bad? <laughs> this is horrible. This is total nonsense. <laughs> Wow. Yes, problem. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be serious, baby. Of course I am. Really? Uh -huh. uh. And you know I love you. Come on, baby. You know I love you more. You can say that again. Come here. <laughs> mm. hey, hey, that reminds me. The food you brought for me today at the office. Who made it? Who else? I did. You like it? I enjoyed it. That was sumptuous. Thank you, baby. You never told me you're such a wonderful cook. Well, let's just say my mother taught me well. <laughs> wow. Yes, baby. Cheers to that. Cheers, baby. <gasps> oh, yeah, baby. I just, let me just quickly go in and um, make dinner for mm -mm. Mm -mm. you. No, no need for dinner. I'm not hungry. Are you sure? Yeah, trust me, I'm fine. I'm not hungry. <sighs> okay, baby. So tell me, what else can you prepare well? What do you want? Anything? Happy birthday Hello. to Hi. you. Dad! <laughs> um, jeez, oh, I didn't see this coming at all. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow. Okay, then we have my cake. Yeah, then blow Ooh. off the candles and make a wish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you light this one and make yeah. a wish. <laughs> Careful. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So on my bad day, I wish that mm. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's impressive. Thank you. Nice meeting you again. Such a a precious gift to my son and I. Every single day you stay in my house is so memorable. Yes. Having you around me makes me feel 
my late wife, whom I love so much, still lives in you. Yes, Richard might be stupid to let you go, but I won't leave you. Because I can't stay and watch him make the greatest mistake of his life that he will live to regret. Please, I want you back. Come and be the homemaker, please. Richard, I have never loved any man the way I loved Richard. sacrificed a lot for our relationship but what do I get in return which had abandoned me because I show so much love and attention to you his father and just look at you dad he abandoned you too for what reason because of the jealousy of the cooked up story he has in his head. Honestly, Dad, I don't know how I feel about this anymore. Mm. I don't know. It's all right. It's all right, okay? Wipe your tears. I want to marry you for him. What? Yes. Richard is my only son. No matter how grown or big he thinks he is, I can still bend him. Now, the only thing you have to do for me is to play along. Trust me, he will come begging. Going on. I haven't seen you happy in a while. Uh-huh. Take a guess. Uh, you know I'm not good at guessing. So let the cards out of the bag. Okay, okay. Well <laughs> I'll be getting married to Richard. Wow. <laughs> My goodness. Are you serious? Uh-huh. Gina, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. So tell me, how did he propose? I mean, what was his facial reaction when he proposed? Was he sober putting you through those emotional trauma? No. Um, he didn't. His dad proposed on his behalf. What? Mm-hmm. He said he wants to marry me for his son. How is that possible without the consent of Richard? Look, it, please. I don't care about that right now, okay? All I want is to go back to that house so I can be able to see Richard's face every day. Are you sure you to walk? Come on, kids. Don't ruin my happy moments, please. Let's make a toast okay. <laughs> to me getting married. <laughs> I'm happy for you, baby girl. Thank you. What is it? Richard, I'm no longer comfortable living with that thing under this roof. I need to know exactly the game your father is up to in this house. What game are you talking about? Come on, don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not dumb. You are unnecessarily disturbing yourself. Yes. There is nothing to worry about here. <laughs> Trust me. No, Richard. Your father married that girl for you so that you can be sneaking into her room at night because he thinks I'm not good enough for you. Oh, stop being ridiculous. How? Listen, let me tell you, whatever my father is doing with that girl has absolutely nothing to do with me. Yes, he married her for himself, not for me. Do you now understand? 
Are you sure? 100. Come here. I'm just scared I don't want to lose you. Nothing will happen to me, okay? We are together. Okay, so what are you up to? Is this some kind of money thingy? Of course, I'm trying to fix a contract. And I'm sure it's going to work out. Of course. So we can go on a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Serena too. Please don't play dumb. I saw you both looking at yourselves eyeball to eyeball, Richard. Listen, I'm not in the mood for this. Of course, you won't be in the mood. I'm talking to you, Richard. Richard! Richard! going out to? I'm just going downstairs to see TV. And that's exactly what I want to do too. I will go downstairs and watch TV too. Fiona, what's going on? What is the meaning of this? What do you mean? What is the meaning of this? Look, Richard, I will follow you everywhere you go because I don't want that slot to snatch you from me. So we'll go downstairs together, my darling. And we'll watch TV together. Why would you say you don't know this recent dance style? I mean, they do it like this. You both seen in a video or something? No? I think I've seen such things. You've seen the, uh -huh, yeah. That one is very, very nice. Okay, uh, there's another yeah, one. Yeah. There's another one to do like, uh, I don't know, I think they bring their leg forward like this. You're there. You're there. You're there. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, there. There's another dance. I, I don't know how they do that one. But I think it's... Oh, in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my God! Yeah, 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 yeah. I like those things. I mean, you can wear them in Sound City. You need to stop watching news, really. You need to reduce the way you see news. Sound City, they'll give you recent downsides. In there. Okay, you. In there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, there. Okay. Yeah, okay, cool. So, um, <laughs> do you want me to repeat the first dance I did yeah, before? Oh, one, the first one. one. Um, what did I do again? Uh, Something like this, uh -huh, uh -huh. right? <laughs> oh my god. Um, then the second one. <laughs> oh, um, no, it's okay. Let's just go inside so I can show you all the dance styles, right? Aha, uh -huh. let's go in. <laughs> uh, we do not need any distraction at all, yeah. right, Daddy? <laughs> Okay, let me get my phone. Let me get my phone. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my bad. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's go so we can dance alone, huh? <laughs> oh, bye to whoever. <laughs> bye to whoever. Yes, daddy. Let's go. <laughs> uh, do you know what card? You want me to cut up? Okay. <laughs> Let's go easy, easy, easy. Yeah. Um. <laughs>
Richard. Richard, wake up. You need to come right away with me. What's going on? They're making love. Who? Gina and your father. Madam, what was the meaning of that nonsense? What was the meaning of that nonsense? Well, I, I, I thought I heard them moaning. And you, they... you thought? You thought? Can, can you just shut up? Shut up! Just shut up! Okay, so tell me, how do I look? Wow, turn around. Hey, way. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it looks so beautiful. Pretty? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going out to see a friend. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. you don't be long, eh? You're sure, because I miss you. I won't stay out long. Okay. Let me give you a peck. Hey, <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> See you. Um, so I look good? Smashy. Smashy? Yeah. Okay. See you soon, Papa. Is that right? <laughs> Thank you. No See you soon. <laughs> hey! And then I beige all I got put a fiona. You can lie to me, but don't you look into my eyes and say that you don't love again. There are memories that are so deep inside my heart that I can never ever <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> oh. Honestly, Gina, I now have privacy moving into your house. Sophia and her boyfriend keeps making me uncomfortable. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm glad that you're enjoying your stay. That's good to know. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me, how has it been going? Um, not so good. He hasn't said a word to me yet. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, um, things doesn't work like magic, okay? Just calm down. I know, and I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. But to be honest, girl, I cannot wait for him to start getting my attention. I miss him. Of course he will. Besides, you're pretty and attractive. Oh, please. Soon, he will be crawling into your arms. Trust <laughs> me. I really hope so, because Richard, he is so stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> but girl, look at your skin glow. You look so good. I mean, you really enjoy your stay in my house. Though. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Dad? Whoa. <laughs> I'm back. 
Are you back? Uh-huh. <laughs> Hope I didn't take too long. No, 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 you didn't. No? No, no. Okay. You came right on time. Cool. That's great. <laughs> I got your fruits. Woo! Your favorite. Apple and banana. How did you know it's what I crave for? Because I always know the best thing for the best man in the world. Oh. <laughs> okay, so um, you want to have some bite now? It's okay. Oh, cool. Perfect. <laughs> I got it specially for you, mm -mm. just for you, Sorry. and no one else. <laughs> so, it's all of it. Mm. Mm. Tastes nice. Mm. <laughs> Another one. Mm. Okay. <laughs> you are amazing. Thank you. Mm. You're awesome yourself. <laughs> it's all of it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, nice. so of you. Uh huh. I got it all for you, just for you, you alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have all of it. Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yummy. <laughs> okay. Want some more? Take. It's all of it, Dad, <laughs> for you. <laughs> You too. You're the best. I'm about to say. I tried. He couldn't speak, so I walked out. Mm -hmm. Same time, I wish I'm not being so difficult on him. you later okay let me make something nice bye
You're just littering the whole place. Please, please take this trash away from here. What's, what's all this rubbish you're doing? Please, um, I want to make something for my baby, please. What's that for, huh? Are you sick in your head or what? I would you trash what I want to use to cook? For what reason? Who gave you the permission to come into my kitchen to cook? Excuse you? Well, let me remind you that this is my fiance's house. And that automatically makes it my house. My kitchen. So if you need a kitchen to cook in, you go meet your crippled husband that married you to get you a house so you can cook in his kitchen. Look. I don't care what they call you. Neither do I care what you think of yourself. But girl, if you try this nonsense again, I swear, I will lose home training for your body. You did mad. <laughs> what will you do? You can't do nothing. You cheap, dirty slut. Say that again. You heard me loud and clear. <laughs> You slapped me! And I will do it again if you dare speak to me in such a manner of degradation. You unwanted, desperate, born by mistake, disgusting looking girl. Go get some home training. <laughs> Confused. The way my father and Gina keeps bonding makes me jealous. Come on, Richard, what are you saying? Jealous. I, I don't understand. Why will you be jealous? For crying out loud, Gina cheated on you with your father. As if that is not enough. She's even carrying your father's child. What are you saying? Jealous? But she also said that the pregnancy is mine. Without any proof. Hmm? No. Richard, if Gina knows she said the truth, if she knows that the pregnancy belongs to you, then let her accept the DNA test. I'm confused. My friend, there is absolutely nothing to be confused about. Come on. Besides, you have Fiona. Fiona what? A girl that doesn't know how to cook? <laughs> that's, a, that, that's a no no for me, like capital no. Oh, what is it? Why did you barge into my office without knocking? Is it not that dirty thing? She won't let me cook in my own kitchen peacefully. And she even had the guts to slap me. <coughs> um, Richard, I'll be in my office. Alright, um, I'm sorry on her behalf, but this is an office. 
you should have waited for me to come back and lay your complaint. You just said it as you know that you're not crazy. And this is all you have to say. What do you expect me to say? Drama queen. Wonder shall never end. So, she actually left your house to the office just to table kitchen matters. I don't understand. For crying out loud, why would she be dragging the kitchen when she doesn't even know how to cook? That's insulting. <laughs> I beg her. I came to pick up this file. Richard, you still haven't done anything about that dirty slop slapping me. What do you expect me to do? Do you want me to engage her in a fist fight? Really? Richard, mm -hmm. is this what you're saying to me? What am I supposed to say? Since you can't defend yourself on a fellow woman, let it slide. Really? Yes. Richard, really? This is what you're saying to me? I'm talking to you, Richard. You can't walk out of me. Richard! Richard! No problem. You will come back here and meet me. She'll be where in this house. You will come and meet me.
Oh my God, I am so happy. <laughs> I'm sure he's not eating his food. I gave him his favorite chicken lap. <laughs> mm, he could even pretend to look like he's really hungry. Mm. What? What? Stop. You should have been doing this. Why? We've always done this. Mm-hmm. But now, I'm your father's fiance, right? Please leave. Leave. Mm. Was I too harsh? Why is he so upset about? Gina, baby. Hi. Hey. Um, I got you a gift. Here. I don't need your gift. Mm-hmm. Come on, baby. At least check it out. Look, Richard, to start with, I'm not your baby, okay? And secondly, I do not remember asking you to get me a gift. So you can keep your gift for your baby when she comes. Do not disturb me again. What rubbish. He's been all over me lately. He got me a gift. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, this plan is becoming a reality. You can say that again. And I'm so sure that he cannot go a day without thinking about me. But what I don't know is why he finds it so difficult to say sorry. Men and ego. Yeah, right. Well, I know very soon he'll be left with no option than to say sorry when the right time comes. <laughs> Did you accept the gift? No. I rejected it. I told him that I don't need his gift. But, on a second thought, 
you think I should have accepted the gift? Not until he tenders an apology to his father. Mm -hmm. That man deserves an apology. Yes, he does. He's a very nice man, filled with wisdom. I can so see. kind. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, when? Let me call you back, okay? You got these things for her, right? I'm talking to you, Richard. You know, I've always known you still have eyes on that slot. But if you think you will keep me in this house as a sex toy, you better have a rethink. Because if I go down, you go down. Watch your tongue. You no, know. you watch it. You bloody liar. I wonder how I ended up with an infidel like you. One more insult from that hole on your face. I will make sure you regret your existence here. My darling, I am regretting every single thing already. And you know what? You can go to hell for all I care. I thought I was dealing with a sensible man. I never knew you are less a man. And you know what? I am leaving this miserable house and your miserable self. And do not come an inch looking for me. Do me a favor while leaving. Make sure you leave empty handed because whatever you own in this house was bought by me. Good. You can get lost. Ah. Yes, girl. That's exactly what happened. He chased his so-called girlfriend out. How am I supposed to know everything in detail? I mean, I have better things to do other than meddling. No? He still had to apologize. I don't know. He's probably fighting his conscience, I guess. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll speak to you later, okay? Bye. <sighs> just, just say sorry. Gina, 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 wait, Gina, Gina, listen, Gina, relax. I was thinking here, why don't we go to my room and spend the night? As what? Why should I? Gina, you've been sleeping in my room since we met, so what's the big deal? I don't understand you. So you expect a woman that's pregnant for your father to sleep in the same bed with you? an insult just because you 
chased your girlfriend out of the house, bored and probably need someone to cuddle. Now you want me to sleep with you? Gina is not like that, okay? Oh, shh. Just... I don't care. Gina. Stop! Shh. Look, I'm going to meet my husband. Don't try this again. Excuse me. I have done everything possible to reconcile with Gina, but to no avail. I bought her a gift, she rejected it. I tried talking to her, she blanked me. I'm confused. Richard, you are not the only one confused here. I am equally confused. Because I don't understand, I can't phantom your sudden change of heart of wanting to see Gina. Have you finally accepted the pregnancy? What is going on? Tony, no matter how I pretend, I am madly in love with Gina. Each time I close my eyes to sleep, all I see is Gina. All I dream is Gina. She's hovering everywhere. Richard, I think I know your problem. Your problem is that Gina is staying in the same house with you. And that is why you keep thinking about her. I think it's time for you to leave your house for a while and go to somewhere else. Probably you can come to my house. By that, the memory of Gina will be totally wiped away from your brain. That makes us a stone throw to our children at end. <laughs> um, but I must really appreciate your understanding. Dad, come on. <laughs> You're the architect of the whole plan. So <laughs> I should say thanks to you. Ah, okay. In no distant time, you'll come back to his senses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be waiting in the dining. Sure. I'll quickly get your food ready, okay? And that's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, I really like those hairs I saw on your page. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, I'll check the price and I'll get back to you. All right. after my wife and I had Richard. The accident took the life of my wife and others, and I lost my rigidity, which landed me on this wheelchair. I was battling with taking life the way it was, until the doctor handed me the medical report. And I discovered I wasn't able to impregnate a woman. It was hell, if you ask me. 
I never had the care of a woman until you came into my son's life. Dad, I am so sorry. So sorry. So wrong. So wrong that you stay in the same roof with your father, but you do not know his real head condition. It is so wrong. What are you insinuating? That accusing your father of getting me pregnant is the most disgusting thing in my world. Read this. Read and you see that. You have been the most insensitive son. You owe your father an apology. But uh, I'm so sorry for everything. I was wrong all this while. It's all my fault. Please forgive me. Um, I, I, um, no matter how fully grown you are, you're still a child. I don't have anything against you. I'm only happy about your right senses. Please, you should go and apologize to Gina. You've really wronged that girl. Nothing against you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Prayer is and to forgive is divine. I'm sorry. We don't have anything against you. I'm sorry for everything I did. I know I wronged you in many ways, but please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I don't know. I don't know the right words to use for you, Richard. I didn't know where I went wrong. 
if caring for your father was a bit too much or I just know that I don't deserve the way you treated me, Richard. I don't. You're right. It's all my fault. I wronged you. But I'm now a changed man. Please. I promise to right my wrongs. Please. I'm, I don't I'm, know. I'm sorry, please forgive me, okay? No. I don't want you to kneel. Just just come out. I'm sorry. I just don't know what to say to you now. said that a man who has a father has a feather. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey! I'm so happy that my son has really come back to his actual senses. That's right. He's so stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> and to you, my daughter-in-law, Gina, mm -hmm. I thank you so much for your understanding and okay. patience. Yes. I love him. That's yes. why. Today, I bless your union, and it shall be well with you. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Mm. Yeah, my son, I can always bend you. Yeah, you sure did bend him. <laughs> <laughs> you can lie to me. But don't you look into my eyes and say that you don't love again There are memories that are so deep inside my heart That I can never ever delete I can never believe that you'll leave me again It is driving me so crazy It is making me so crazy Thinking about